Hi and welcome to another card making video. Today I'm featuring the Simons & Stamp November card kit and we are going to have fun as I'm exploring a new product to me. But first let's take a look on what's included. I always like when the kits come with products that you can use again and again. Tools are my favorites. So in this kit you do get a pair of scissors. These are non-stick and uh, they are pointy and really sharp. I believe they are perfect for fuzzy cutting and I will use them in this video. And you do get a low tack tape, always handy to have. So this is the new product to me. These are the adhesive transfers and they are meant to be used for foiling. These are the ones that I will be playing with today. I had the feeling that these were uh, only used with a laminator. But we will find together today on this video that they work with your regular die cutting machine which brings a ton of other ideas on how you can use the foiling. So anyway, uh, there are two envelopes included, a white and a long orange one. And then uh, this is where I had no idea what that is. So once you peel it off, you will find out that there are tons and tons of foils included between those two cardstock pieces. You will find there are uh, four different colors, I believe, and there are multiples, so you have plenty of them to play with. I will show you many ideas on how to use them. Then this is the stamp set included in the kit, perfect for the season, lots of pumpkins, leaves, many sentiments. These are stencils, three different ones in one set that match perfectly with the images on the stamp set. And you get four different colors of cardstock. Finally, there is a zipper bag to keep everything together. So let's start with the product that was new to me and after reading the instructions, I realized that it's not only for laminator, but you can use it with your uh, die cutting machine, any die cutting machine that you have at home. So let's try it together. If you notice, you can peel off the bagging and there is adhesive behind all those designs. So make sure that you don't touch that adhesive at all. I'm going to use my scissors and separate the images that I want to work with just to make sure that I don't make a mess with the rest of the designs. So as you can see, you get six different designs of leaves as well as a couple of sentiments and you get the whole design twice. I'm just choosing three of uh, the leaves that they don't look alike just to get different shapes and sizes. And this is the first time I'm playing with them, so you will find out how they work together with me. I was very skeptical about how good the foil is going to transfer with this method, but let's find out together. So what I'm doing here is peeling off the bagging from each and every one of those designs and I'm just sticking them down on a piece of cardstock. And I went with a craft colored cardstock just because I'm going for a fall themed card. Now I'm going to use my spare binders die cutting machine. I'm creating my sandwich here. I do have the new universal plates, but no matter which die cutting machine you have, just create your regular sandwich, the one that you would use to use the thin dies. So then place the cardstock and the top plate on top. And I'm just going to run it through my die cutting machine. I did that twice, as you can see, back and forth. And this is going to transfer adhesive on the cardstock. And since this is the first time I'm using it, you see I'm hesitant to do it all for all the leaves. I just uh, pressed the first leaf. I'm going to peel off the backing and check if the adhesive has transferred. It is really difficult for you to see that. I will try to catch the light for you, but the adhesive is there. Just make sure that you don't touch it at all. So now I'm more confident about this process and I'm going to go through both the leaves at once. And I'm going to try and catch the light for you so you can probably see here the shape of the first leaf. I'm going to peel off the backing of the next two leaves. And trust me, the adhesive is there. Just make sure you don't touch it at all. So now I'm going to bring in the foils and there are different colors. So I will choose three different ones, a copper and gold and another kind of brownish one. And I'm going to cut out little pieces to place on top of my leaves. 
Once you place them on top, you will find that they stick nicely together and probably you can just burnish them with your fingers or with a bone folder and peel them off, but I am sure that you get a better result if you just run them through your dry cutting machine to add lots of pressure. So that's what I'm going to do here. And again, at this stage, you need to create the sandwich that you did previously, just your regular one that you would use if you are using one of your thin dies. So I'm going to run it through. I do it as habit, twice, always, but uh, you can definitely do just one. I believe it would work just fine. So let's peel off the foil and see if that worked. This is where I was very skeptical and I was thinking that, okay, maybe it is going to foil, but it's not going to be perfect. But look at this, there are no little bits and pieces missing at all. And I'm sure you can use the negative as well. So let's peel off the other two ones. Always perfect. No missing bits and pieces. I'm going to place them on the white area so you can see how perfectly it foiled. Now for the card that I'm making today, I want to use these leaves as the focal points. So here is where I'm testing the new scissors for fuzzy cutting and I find that they are perfect. And as I was fuzzy cutting the leaves, more ideas were coming into my mind on how we can use those foils. So just following the same concept, you can create your very own designs. So the simplest thing that you can do with a foil included in the kit is to just use some double-sided tape. No matter the width, you can create borders with that if you like. Just peel off the backing, stick a piece of that foil on top, run it through your die cutting machine just to make sure that you get good impression and you have a lovely border there. Another thing that you can do is to turn any die that you have into a foiled piece. So just use some double sided uh, paper. This is uh, tape adhesive but it is white as you can see. I'm going to stick it down on a piece of scrap cardstock so that I can show you the technique. And then die cut any of your dies on this piece of cardstock. This is going to create a little design that has adhesive at the top. Just peel it off and then place on top any of the colored foils that you have included in the kit. And I'm going with a golden scrap that I have here. I'm just going to press it down, run it through my die cutting machine to apply pressure. And this is a great way to make the most out of your dies. Here is yet another way to use them. So anyway, back to the leaves that I created in the beginning. I am going to create a card with them. I have a dark brown panel here and I'm inking up the edges just to make sure that they are darker. They always help the center to bring the eye at the center more. And then since this is an otherwise very plain, clean and simple card, just to add some interest at the background, I'm going to use the metallic uh, watercolors. This is a pan set by Altenew, and I'm going to go with the gold and the copper one. I'm just adding a few splatters here and there, making sure that I mainly concentrate them at the top so that I have some empty space at the bottom for the sentiment later on. Now for the sentiment I'm going to repeat the same technique since there are a couple of them available. I decided to go with Grateful but before I stick it down I'm going to make sure that both the ink and the splatters are completely dry. So I'm going to peel off the packing off my ward, I'm going to stick it where I want the sentiment to be, I run it through the die cutting machine to transfer the adhesive from the acetate to my cardstock and then just peel it off. You can see better the adhesive here just because it is on top of a dark colored cardstock. And that's where you are supposed to add the foil. Now here is where I did wrong. I was going for the golden foil but they are so thin and I'm holding here two colors together. So I ended up sticking down the color underneath and that's where you will see that I realized. So I have to go with a darker color, unfortunately, which is not going to show as much since I'm working on a dark brown cardstock, but keep that in mind. Don't do as I do. Just pay attention on how many foils you are holding. So in my case, you can definitely see the greeting when it catches the light. 
And I'd say that I wanted this to be subtle from the beginning and it is a choice of design. Only you and me will know. So I'm going to uh, create a little uh, cluster with the three leaves just by using foam tape at the back and sticking them at the center of my panel. And then I'm going to stick the whole panel with foam tape on top of my card base which is made out of craft cardstock and it's four and a quarter by five and a half. So that was the card for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired as we played with foiling and adhesive. Here are some close-up photos. Links to everything I used can be found down below, just like always. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you all next time.